The big thing that's going wrong here, it hasn't been able to decouple from stocks. That's been the big problem for Bitcoin, namely the QQQ across most time frames. That correlation is a one. The QQQ tracks the NASDAQ 100. Uh, Fundstrap points this out. And as a result, the firm is starting to look more towards its equity research for signs of where Bitcoin is going. The crypto team over there looking for a Bitcoin bottom around 29,000 at this point and says it's going to look rocky in the near term. They do recommend clients buy one to three month puts for downside protection. There's two things going on. Number one is that it's trading like a risk asset. So if you look at the 30 day rolling correlation of Bitcoin and the NASDAQ 100, it's about 77% right now. That's about the highest we've seen, but almost all year it's been above 70%. So that is number one, you've got that kind of flow. The second thing that's actually going on is there's a stable coin that is ostensibly backed by Bitcoin in some way, and they're trying to defend the peg against the dollar, and they have to sell some Bitcoin to do that. And that's accelerating the sell off here. So you have both kind of elements coming in, and that's why we're down almost 10% today.